Right, so Euro Money has finalized its awards for 2016 and they've come up with a winner for the African Finance Deal of the Year. It's Kalula.com. Can you believe it? A $47 million transaction where Investec helped them do some fancy structuring around the purchase of some Boeing 737s. I mean, please, $47 million. I know some horn dogs that go up to Bella Bella for a weekend and spend more than that on a buffalo. Anyway, can't possibly be the biggest deal of the year. What about MediClinic's listing on the London Stock Exchange? That was worth 150 billion rand. Or what about Steinhoff's flip-flop transaction when they took the business out to the Frankfurt Stock Exchange? That was worth 370 billion rand. So I'm sorry, Kalula.com, please sit down. Hey, this Panama Papers saga is getting quite interesting now, don't you think? My favorite shell company in Panama story has got to be the one about the president of Azerbaijan. You know, that tin pot country on the Caspian Sea in uh, Central Asia. Anyway, what he did is he basically stole the whole country's gold mining industry, did some secret underhand deal, set up a shell company, took the most valuable looking assets and shabam, they ended up being 75% held by his two daughters through one of these Mossack Fonseca shelf companies, Arzu and Leila. Aren't they lovely? Anyway, these two London socialites are also property baronesses. They own a portfolio of London properties worth 170 million Great British pounds. And where do you suppose that money came from? I see that UCT wants to rename all of its campus buildings, which is a trend I support. I mean, why not? Get with the change. If it feels unsettling, then you're too old and you should stand down. But remember, people, if you were thinking of naming buildings after your current heroes, then don't do that. Because, for example, something like the, I don't know, Julius Malema School of Engineering, you're going to have to change that again when he has to go to jail for tax evasion. And you know what? It's not just a thing that's happening here in South Africa. Did you see the story this week about George Mason University in Virginia, United States of America? They're going to rename their law school after the conservative U.S. justice that just died, Antonin Scalia, right? But they didn't think it through because the Antonin Scalia School of Law, if you do the acronym, that turns out as asshole. But apparently he was one, right? This is a good news story about the U.S. Masters Golf Tournament. You know, the one that happens at Augusta National this time of the year. So, you know, over the recent years, basically what's happened is that Augusta National has acquired all of the properties around the golf course, including all the houses, a whole neighborhood because they've got so much money. And then what they do is they turn these properties after raising them to the ground into either a parking lot or some kind of new access road. And basically they've acquired them all except for one house that belongs to Herman and Elizabeth Thacker. It's got no fences. It's right in the middle of the main parking lot. Every single year, the chairman of Augusta National goes and offers them even more money. And you know what they say? No thanks, sir. So right now the tournament's on. They've got free parking, free accommodation, and they're inside the property. They just walk onto the course. Isn't that awesome?